Hey, Santa here. Today, we're gonna be talking about more efficient ways to create slideshows for whatever purpose you need, for school, for work, any sort of project. And of course, I'm gonna show you with a slideshow of my own that I just made right here. So what is the slides problem, as I'm calling it? It is the fact that there are two steps for making a slideshow usually. And this is what I did in school all the time. I would have the writing stage and then the designing of the slideshows. Usually back in the day, before I knew any better, and I would use something like Microsoft Word, and then I would outline everything that I need to put in the slideshow, and then then I would move that to PowerPoint or if you're a hipster or Keynote or stuff like that, you know? But it's kind of like a two-step process. So the idea is what if you could combine them both and have it in one place? Obviously, Obsidian is my place of choice and I'm gonna show you something really cool. And in case you're new to Obsidian and you just stumbled upon this video, do check out my Obsidian course in the description that will catch you up to speed, but we'll talk more about that later. Quick side note, I'm making my first Obsidian giveaway for $100 brother credit. More information in the description below and you have one week left to participate in that. So just letting you know and yeah, back to the video. Right now, I want to share with you the two different ways that you can do slideshow presentations inside of Obsidian. You have slides, which is a different one, but that's not the one that we're going to be talking about right now. The one that we're going to be talking right now is Advanced Slides, which is a community plugin on top of Obsidian. And it's the one that I'm using right now. And it has tons of advanced features that I want to show you that is really, really cool. And if you've tried the slides before in Obsidian, trust me, this is way better. So it's definitely worth trying. So this is what you just saw. This is the slideshow presentation right now. And all you have is some text some images and yeah that's pretty much it and just to show you a bit of behind the scenes all I'm doing is I write anything I paste an image and then I just separate the slideshow by doing these three dashes you know which is just a line that you do to divide things that's how obsidian and the plugin knows you want separate slides for each section right so first of course we're gonna install the plugin go to community plugins this is a new interface for obsidian it's super cool and yeah you're just gonna install it in here and enable it you do have some really cool options in here but we're going to check those later so yeah just add some text do some separations just by doing the three dashes that i was telling you about that separates the slides and now when you go Control p or command p and you search for slides you will see advanced lights or a shortcut right there now when you do that you can see that the slide is here and there's a separate tab but you can actually just put it side by side and i think this is better because that way you can see everything that you're editing on this side and then on the right you're going to be able to see the presentation on the left we are on the new live preview which is a nicer way to visualize obsidian but just so that it's clear i'm just gonna turn it off and i just have it like that but what i really like about this is that you can actually click on the section you're in and it's gonna take you to that part right so yeah that's really cool i really like that idea so just to show you i'm gonna add a slide above this so this is gonna be test slide one and yeah as you can see it's already working in there so that's really cool right there and it, it automatically updates so let's just say that we want to change this for two you can see that in here already automatically updates if it doesn't do that then you can do the command reload slides this one right here or the shortcut right but actually the cool thing about this compared to the one that's built in because if you just search the slides start presentation this is going to be the automatic one that obsidian does but you're going to miss on all these cool features that the advanced plugin has so definitely feel free to compare them but i highly recommend you use this one it has all the pros and really has no limitations compared to the other one so it's really really cool again just to add more slides you just do the three dashes and this is this let's call it and yeah now you can just navigate across them right and when it comes to images you can actually add them as normal the way that obsidian works if you don't know that i'm gonna leave you some links in the description but yeah keep in mind that i really think this is a good solution when you need a simple presentation if you need something more complex you have two options either go the traditional route whatever other app that you use or you can learn more about how to customize these things but you're probably gonna need to learn a bit of html and css if you know that i'll leave again another link in the description where you can learn more about the documentation of this particular plugin but yeah with that said let me show you a couple of other really cool things so one of them is that you can, for instance, create a separate node. Let's just call this one test one, embedding tests. Cool. And now check this out. So I'm going to, again, do another one above this and check this out. I'm just going to drag and drop that there, put an exclamation mark in front of it. And that means that it's embedded. And look at that. You see that? So embedding test. So the content of that node is in the presentation. It's crazy. So yeah, perhaps it makes more sense if I show you with the live preview, right? So now you can see that anything that is in there, here's some 
more text. Isn't that just crazy? That means that you can organize different slides in different nodes and just embed that later. You can also do that for blocks and headings. Again, like that requires a bit more knowledge about Obsidian, but it is really, really powerful what you can do it here. So it blows my mind how good it works. So yeah, that's pretty powerful stuff. Now you can see also that the transition effect is different. The one that I was using was like none. So that is a straight cut, but you can always customize that in the settings, advanced lights in here. And here you can play with the different different types. So you can fade, slide, convex. Convex is pretty cool. I'm gonna open that again and check this out. So that's the type of effect that you get with convex. And you can try the other ones and they're all pretty cool. Things start getting pretty crazy when you start playing with some of the settings. So again, if you go to the settings in there, I recommend you turn all of these on and then see what happens, you know, like because that way you're gonna understand what each one does. And then when you're presenting, you can turn off the ones that you don't want to clutter the screen. But if I just open this again, check this out. This one's really, really cool. You see this little menu right here. You have a couple of different things. One of them is you can actually write on top of everything <laughs> all types of good stuff and you have the different colors and so on when you actually go to the next slide and you come back that is going to preserve but only if you don't reload or close the slideshow so it's not permanent so definitely don't start this any cool stuff in here but it might be useful if you want to say like guys this is the problem right here you know and you just want to highlight things and do some arrows and and so on you get the idea another similar one is you have a bit of a whiteboard in here so that one's quite fun you can have a smiley face you can have a sad face and you can have one with the tongue out. And now if you go up, you can revisit the previous one you had. This is kind of useful if you're trying to explain something. I guess the idea of this is just to say, okay guys, come on. So we're in a business meeting. This is the supply and this is the demand. So yeah, that's, that's what you do with this. So you turn it off by clicking on this thing. So that's how you can incorporate this into your Obsidian workflow. The better you know how to use Obsidian, the better this and the easiest this is gonna be to use. So if you are brand new to Obsidian, I highly recommend you check out my Obsidian course. It helps me keep a roof over my computer and I highly appreciate it. I think it's gonna really help you go through the fundamentals. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find exactly where to start. So if that's what you're looking for, do check it out. And before I forget, the plugin also has some really nice documentation that I do recommend you check out. It's definitely gonna help you achieve more and get more out of it. So big shout out to the creator of this is super well made and thoroughly enjoyed it. So let me know if there's any other particular plugins that you would like me to check out. And in the meantime, I'm gonna uh, go, go have some dinner because I'm hungry. See ya.